Hi everyone, myself Harsha. I am Pega Trainer at Harsha Trainings. And if any one of you are looking for Pega Training, we are going to start a new batch starting from May 31st, 2022. That will be uh, this month only. And timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST. And this training will be available in two different modes like classroom and online. The duration of the course is three and a half months. Every day session is one hour 15 minutes that will be conducted Monday to Friday. And moreover, we are going to uh, deliver you the best quality of PEGA training with real time hands on projects being implemented on each and every topic that is practically being covered. If you have any doubts or any questions related to your career guidance, please post your doubts or questions under the comment section of this video. We would be happy to help you. And in today's video, I'm going to explain you about what is the flow step, OOTB cascading approval step. So I'm going to give you a brief idea about this OOTB cascading approval step and how uh, what are the different configuration options available in this step. And let's get onto our laptop to see the same. This is the case type. See here, in the case life cycle, we have stages, processes, and steps. See, whenever I want an approval processing to be implemented by manager, okay? A manager has to either approve or reject someone, maybe manager or any other role person. Approval rejection, if I want, Pega provides one smart shape called approval. Already, it's not smart shape, I'm sorry. One approval over to be step is available. It is a which is a process actually, some other flow. The moment I add this approval step, you see here, uh, here, automatically one more stage is getting added called approval rejection. The moment here I add approval step, approval rejection stage is getting added. I will explain you about this stage in few minutes. Coming to this approval step, see, this approve reject step which i have added provided by pega will have a screen where it will display either approve it will display like approve and reject buttons but what are the actions provided when i add approve step approve step here see here approval flow type single level and this approval can be routed to a specific user or a work queue or business logic we discussed about these three in the previous videos i mean like previous class like sing, single user means routing to work list. Second one, routing to work queue. Using business logic, creating decision tree and all, it will be either routed to work list or work basket. The written value of the decision tree based on condition should be either operator ID or work queue. It will get accordingly routed. Okay, this step will get routed. They will see the task in their work list or work basket. They will open the task and they may either approve or reject. And now, single level means only one person. Now you go with cascading option. In the cascading option, here you can see. See, we already discussed about we already discussed about this one, like operators, reporting manager, reporting managers, reporting managers, reporting managers, reporting. This is called reporting structure. If you open operator profile, in the operator profile, go to work tab. Here you have reports to some other manager ID. So this manager may report to another manager. This manager may report. That is called reporting structure. So here you can choose cascading reporting structure to whom? Reporting manager. Whoever the current operator and the reporting manager of current operator to approve it. And approval level, single level, only one reporting manager or all. All means till it ends with no reporting manager further at the higher level. So all of them should be approving, okay? Or you can define it as a custom to define some condition also. Whoever the manager satisfies that property plus value on clipboard, they will, suppose manager having a skill of German, okay? Where PY skill is equal to German. If that is satisfied, only they will get the task for approval. 10 managers are there in the reporting structure higher level, out of which five are German managers. Only German managers, it will be going for the approval, but that is, just as an example, I told you. So this is about reporting structure. And other than this, authority matrix is there. If you go with authority matrix, you can give a page list property. Imagine I have a page list called approvers list. In a page list, you have pages, right? 
approval list of 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this in each page you may have a property which will hold operate operate id value correct let's say in this page there is a property called py user identifier py user identifier this property holds operator id now this page list has 10 pages in each page you have py identifier or operator id total how many operators are there 10 operators now this assignment will get routed to 10 operators all 10 has to approve understand this pro this this one what i am showing here now authority matrix we will practically work on this but not this overtb way we will work on practically in a manual process overtb just to do two minutes task but we will implement this manually so that you can better understand okay everyone clear so this is what about approval step an approval step approval can be single level or it can be by using cascading approval of reporting structure or authority matrix where you have to have a page list that page list you may build by using a decision table or maybe you can build it by using data transformer activity this is optional this is not mandatory okay everyone clear so this is about OOTB approval shape that is available provided by pega and now this approval step will display accept i mean like approve reject buttons in the screen if you go to the next tab of flow what you can choose some actions what has to be done if user clicks on approve button manager clicks on approve button continue means it will proceed to the next level that's it and if user rejects this i want to change the stage and approval rejection what will happen at this particular step if approval is been approved it will go to next level whatever it is otherwise if they click on reject then it will case will jump from this particular stage to this stage and everyone clear that are the options available other than this you can choose the options of uh, going to any other stage or closing the case and all okay that is up to you and some status and this is about purely about approval step that is provided by pega everyone clear with approval step approval step that is over to be available as three different options single level approval comma cascading approval within cascading approval two options are there those are cascading approval of reporting structure cascading approval of authority matrix meaning that a page list having a property in each page which will have operator id or work queue whatever it is that is where it will get routed and being requested for the approval 